Oh. Anything good? Yeah, <laughs> a couple things, nothing great. Uh, All right, yeah. let's get back to the shed and get some work done. Okay, we're back at the treasure chest, brought our stuff out here. Janelle's over there processing um, the big, huge haul we got today. Can't wait to show you that, guys. Stay tuned for that. And Frankie is inside currently watching YouTube videos and eating sweet peppers. He's not feeling the shed too much today. He wasn't too excited about that Goodwill trip. Um, but he did enjoy the ice cream though. We didn't seem to have any complaints over the lunch and ice cream. It's been quite a while since we've been both out here working on a weekend. Um, past few weeks we've had a lot going on, uh, family and stuff, working on the house, which is why you haven't really seen many videos from us. Uh, we actually replaced our whole electrical service to our house. That time kind of ate into my video editing time for YouTube, which is why we've disappeared for a little while. Amongst changing the service to our house, kind of reselling related um, we have a backup generator for our house and the power to the shed was not on the backup generator now the power to the shed is on the backup generator um, I believe the previous owners of the house just used this shed as more of a um, workshop barn thing just kind of out here putzing around with hobbies and stuff but being that we run a whole business out here um, we went ahead and put that on the generator. I'm getting some records cleaned up for Janelle to test throughout the week, which she gets very excited about testing. Uh, she's giving me a face right now as I say that because she doesn't get excited about that. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. Uh, we got three Saturday Night Fever records I got to get cleaned. Um, these do sell, but the problem is, is it's two records, so it takes a while to test all four sides, and you do need to definitely test these records because probably about half of these don't end up working for us but when we do find some that do work 
they'll sell not for a huge amount of money but maybe 15 bucks ten dollars i don't know what they're going for now we haven't sold one in a while uh i got jethro tall thick as a brick uh, not really worth much but cool to test i like listening to that when it does come up a led zeppelin one i think we tested this one already and it didn't work and for some reason it got stuck back in our pile of records so i'm gonna test that one again and check it um tony orlando uh i haven't really listed records in quite a while what kind of got me fired up about doing some records today is we sold a lot of records this week some ones that uh i really didn't think would sell i, I think we shipped out maybe six to eight records this week which is quite a bit because uh we haven't sold records in a while so we got our stuff here from today that we found at the goodwill and before i show you all that this is my death pile currently <laughs> um a lot of this is from just this past week i wasn't out here a ton or as much as i normally am uh, with frankie he had a couple days that he was sick and trying to source you know the other days that i was able to get out so i got a lot to kind of catch up on first thing we found today were these adidas golf shoes men's shoes seemed like they were in really good condition paid 650 for them didn't notice that there's a little tear inside one of the shoes so i don't know i don't know if we'll sell those or not um originally we thought we might be able to get 30 dollars or so for them but got a baseball bat and easton um i don't think it's uh, maybe it's i don't know if it's composite or what it is but frank found this for four dollars and um i think he said we could get maybe 30 or 40 or so for it it does have a little dent uh, in, on one side here he said if it wasn't for if it weren't for the dent i think we would need even more for it but yeah, I guess it's a good bat. And a, a package of paper towels. <laughs> so these paper towels are from the 90s. This is a vintage brawny, new old stock roll of paper towels. Um, 1993 or 1994, I can't remember now. But um, paid $2 for it. And these actually go for about $20 or so. I guess stuff like this, a lot of um, TV shows and movies can pick, you know, these kind of things up for props for different, you know, eras and that. Hey, honey, you ready? Go pull some orders. Oh, you got your list all ready to go? Yep. I don't think we sold much this weekend, did we? No, we sold like 10 things. <laughs> That's since Friday. It's a yeah. slow weekend. I, Valentine's weekend, Super Bowl going on. I don't think people are shopping. True. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. <laughs> um, I got all these listed. These were the records you tested a while back that we cool. never listed because they were all that I never listed. Because I just haven't been doing records. Well, we've had a lot of other yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I did fill up your uh, tested crate over there for, um, I'm sorry, your cleaned crate for the records. To test. To test that are cleaned. So. Great. Excited about that? Testing some more records this week? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> let's go get the mortars pulled and shipped. All righty, honey. Uh, looks like the first thing is your Nashville Sound 104 FM Buffalo, New York. What is that? Oh, that's a record. A record. That's downstairs. That's a Buffalo, New York record. Wow. That's so cool. That is cool. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> From a radio station. That's cool. Wow. All right. Hmm. BarkBox Netflix Stranger Things demo. Uh, in Man. Oh, that's the other side. What's the number? 9181. I was trying to figure out what that what is that? It's a dog toy. It's a dog from toy. Stranger Things. Yes, yeah, it's, it's from Stranger Things. The um, I seen that sale come in earlier. Uh, the uh, Demo Demo Gorgon or something. So for nineteen dollars and fifty three cents, <laughs> and we listed it uh, just a month ago. Yep, got that from Goodwill. Uh, next thing is the Angie bin. Okay. Named after our friend Angie. Yeah. So the Angie bin is going to be the Atlanta Olympics fanny pack uh, for a whopping $13.12. <laughs> and we listed that a little over a year ago. Is it $4,800? Yes, $4,800. Sorry, I actually, I this was number. a quantity listing. I had found three of these at the Goodwill bins. Oh. And I think that might be the last one. We've actually oh, okay. sold them. Okay, so that's that's not bad then. Because yeah. if we bought three of them yep. and sold them throughout the year. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, not not huge money, but they've sold. <laughs> Next thing is the hole bin. It's uh, six seven seven four. The Webkin Snowman plush uh, with the seal of unused code sold for thirteen dollars and four cents. We sell a lot of Webkins. Yeah. Watch for Webkins, especially if they have the unused code. Yeah, I mean if you can get them cheap enough, some of them they sell don't sell for, for a lot of money, but right. you gotta get them. You get them on the cheap, they're good. Oh, snowman. <laughs> Crazy bin. Oh, 
it's named always, after a crazy person we know. So, why do we put this one on top? This is a very common one. It should be on the bottom. Because if we put it in the bottom, <laughs> then we're not gonna sell anything out of it. Okay, what, what's in here? Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta tell you. <laughs> that is the Jelly Cat Drake the Dragon Plush. Mm, yes. That's going to Australia, I think. Is it? Yep. And that sold for $29 even. That was an offer, a counter offer I sent them and then they accepted. And we listed mm. it uh, just two months ago, three months ago. Yeah, I found that at a Goodwill for, uh, I think it was like three or $4. And then you sold another jelly cat that you had already pulled, you said? Yeah, I had just listed it and I hadn't it's got a, a chance It's a Wild to Things put it away yet. frog, green bean plush is what you got it listed for. Yep. And you sold that for $95. This was actually, I found this on a Facebook Marketplace and I paid $22 for it. But I, I saw it and I recognized that um, Jelly Cat Frog Plush can be pretty pretty good. I guess there's one that's worth like hundreds of dollars that I've never, I haven't found it yet. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always looking. But um, I saw this one and I looked it up. None listed or sold recently, but I checked Worth Point and there was ones you know going for right around that. So the person so. that sold you that on Facebook knew it was worth something because they sold it to you for 20 bucks. Well, they were just trying to, they were just cleaning out. I mean, maybe. Right, I mean, maybe, uh, but... the stuffed animals. I mean, what do people sell stuffed animals for when they're cleaning out? You know what I mean? Yeah. So they knew it was something. Next is a rare Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Sanrio. You pulled that one too? Yes. Yep, it's a... And that went out the door for $34.50 and we listed it just this month. Yeah, it's Build-A-Bear. And the Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty plush are really good. If you find the suntan one, it's kind of like a, a light brown tan color. Um, that one's even better. Uh, didn't have the bow or anything. Would have been worth more with that. Got it at the bins. So paid probably hmm, 35 cents or so for it. <laughs> so, yeah. And now the Pippin bin, named after Lonnie's dog on Shed Flips. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, 7932. It's a vintage. A very nice vintage, honey. Vintage, yes. 1993 Plush Creations Gray Elephant. Oh, yeah. Sold for $45. And we listed that three months ago. Back in the fall. What, uh... Plush Creations, that's a good brand I'm taking. That's a good on. brand, and I've sold these kind of stuffed animals before. It's got like a diaper on, it's got a pacifier. So I've sold different animals, you know, with the this design. I think there's a tiger and a, a monkey and stuff. So yeah, they've, they've sold pretty well. So that's it for up here, honey. I think you got a couple things you got to get downstairs yep. that haven't made it up here to inventory yet. Right. We just haven't put them away yet. That's right. how fast they sold. So that's <laughs> no complaints there. Yep, cool. Ready? Yeah. Sorry guys, playing with my uh, my uh, gimbal. Still learning how to use it. <laughs> I was trying to be artistic and get a good shot of my beautiful bride coming down the stairs and I think mm -hmm. I flopped on it. So, <laughs> well, well, you guys will be able to see the improved footage of my beautiful bride as videos, future videos come out. Yeah, I cannot talk <laughs> today. Okay, honey. Uh, I just listed this last night. The Cadillac logo golf head cover. All right. So, oh, it's right here. For $11.33 sold for. We have another one of them listed that we had listed months ago. Same exact price, same logo, same everything, and it is not sold yet. <laughs> but that one did. Yay. So maybe that's proof there that new listings get moved up to the front. You know, the whole end yeah, list true. theory that everybody talks about. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the next thing is a listing we did a month ago, Easton Used Wonder Flex Softball Bat. Mm, I think that's this one. Sold for $37. Is that this one? Wonder, yeah, I think so. Wonder, okay. yeah. Wonder Flex, yep. And that'll go UPS in a 5x5 five by, five by however long box we need. Mm -hmm. Usually ships pretty cheap, about 10 bucks or so yeah. with the UPS ground. <laughs> And I think that's it, honey. A uh, record. There is a record. Oh, there was the Buffalo record. Yeah. 
5880 in the flower crate and sold for $6.96. Oh, look at that. I went right to it. There it is. That's pretty cool. That is a Buffalo, New York, uh, where, where we are from. Mm -hmm. 1120 AM, 104.1 FM. 104.1. Wow. Do they still have that radio station? Probably not, huh? Well, I don't think it's... I don't think it's country. Well, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Cool. It looks like we're all ready to ship it out. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll do the record first. It's pretty easy. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to do the record first because I forgot to turn my hot glue gun on. So we'll do the record next. Uh, I guess we'll do this one first, honey. Nine, three, six, five. The jelly cat. Is that no, priority? That's not a jelly cat. But I don't know plush names. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a build a bear. Whatever Hello it is. Kitty. I just know we made ninety five dollars on that sucker. Well, not that one. That's oh, not oh it. my gosh! I am just messing everything up. <laughs> okay, we're straight now. That's gonna go to Virginia. Uh, it's shipped out priority mail, so I'll just drop it into a priority mailbox. And because it's a uh, I don't want to say high dollar, but it's, you know, more than $20-ish. I'm going to put it in this 13-13-9 or 12-12-8 or number 7 USPS box, whichever you'd like to call it. Oh, that sounds great on camera. The old tape. Let me try the other one. You guys don't want to hear that, do you? Oh, yeah, there we go. Even, even better. <laughs> Honey, guess what you didn't do, or I didn't do either. Hmm. We didn't write thank yous. Oh, no. So actually, I think it's uh, kind of cool that you were able to see me write that thank you. Because if you noticed, we had some thank yous written up, um, made up on the back side of them where it has our name on there already. And already has like a little, yeah, a little thank you message. You wouldn't believe how much time that saves having to write that on every single thank you. So now we just write the item and we're done. And you go on to the next thank you. So this one's going to Australia, and we'll be putting that into a regular brown box. Okay, so this is the $95 plush. We're gonna pack this very nicely. So that um, Goodwill store we went to today, is pretty interesting. Their prices were marked, I wanna say top dollar for thrift stores, which is fine and all. But, I don't think they went through like anything before they put it on the floor. There was a uh, few items there. One sec, I gotta get a thank you. A 
There's a few items there that looked like they were new in the box. The box was uh, very new looking, crisp. Um, and then it was priced as if, not for new prices, but you know, if it were new in a thrift store for you know, top dollar. And then you open up the box to see what was inside and you know, make sure it is new to see. And it wasn't even the item that uh, matched with the box. It was something else. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I need. I saw that a couple times at that store, honey. Did you notice? You didn't notice that. I didn't really notice that, but I noticed that they had these big old heavy speakers sitting on the screen of a TV. The... Oh yeah, I, I did get footage of that. You guys probably <laughs> seen that. That was uh, that was interesting. Janelle spotted that, and I was like, yeah, let me get let me get a video of that. Yeah, I think they had that TV priced at thirty five dollars, sitting flat on the cart with the screen up, and two big old speakers just sitting right on the screen. Well, that's my point. I mean. I, I get it if you want to get top dollar for your stuff and try to make the most profit, mm -hmm. but do the work to get that top dollar. You know what I mean? Go through it, inspect it, take care of it. Don't put stuff on top of something that might break. Right. You know what I mean? Otherwise, if, if you're going to treat your stuff like that and, and move product that fast onto the floor, then price it accordingly. You know, so I do the work. Yeah. If I'm doing the work, then I want the profit of the difference. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Does that make sense? What, which one is this? You're going to have to tell them what this is, what I'm packing. That's the... This is 7392. Excuse me. That's the plus this creations. Is, this is going priority, I think, to Florida. So I think I'm just going to put this into here. You're good with that, right, honey? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know plush, so whenever... Um, I feel like I'm going to be compressing the plush, or, you know, to make it fit into a box, I will ask Janelle if she's okay with it. Because I don't know if that plush is highly collectible, highly sought after, and the customer may not appreciate that. Or if it's just, you know, a lower dollar plush that somebody just enjoys having for whatever reason and isn't going to matter. I mean, let's see what it looks like, I guess, in the box. Because it does look like it. it looks uh, like now I got her all worried. Yeah, well, it looks like it'll just fit. I mean. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's not going to break. And you can see yeah, it's. that's good. All right, cool. And a little paper just so um, if they decide to cut into the box with a knife and be a little overzealous with their blade, it'll hopefully stop that blade from cutting into the product. We've yet to get a return from somebody cutting into a product, so <laughs> I'd like to think doing that is helpful. Dog toy going to Sweden. That's interesting. Another brown box. What's so special? Oh, that's the uh, Stranger Things dog toy? Yes. Yep. Still new. You know, with that. Do you think they truly got it for their dog, or do you think it's a collectible? I mean, I don't know. I, I, this... I mean, because they paid some money to ship that sucker to Sweden. At times, I wish we could get the story on why people buy the things they buy and for what. <laughs> So we put our YouTube channel on the thank you notes on the front side of them. And I've always wondered, does anybody actually watch our YouTube channel that has bought something from us and spotted their item, whether we bought it, shipped it. Next thing is the $13 fanny pack. Uh, that's going first class. And I'm just going to stick it in one of these guys. Can't hurt it at all. Yeah, and it's not... A high dollar fanny pack. I don't mean to say, oh, well, you didn't spend a lot of money, so we're not going to take most care of it. But there's not as much overhead either to use more packing materials. I mean, thirteen dollars. We might have paid a dollar, two dollars for you know, I, whatever. You guys get what I'm saying. I hope. So probably about man, it's got to be like five, six years ago now. People were saying, or I noticed that like fanny packs were making a comeback. Is that still true, or are they out of style again? They're still, they're still in. Are they? Yep. They're called hip bags now. Hipster bag or no. hip bag? Oh, hip oh bag. okay. Not to be confused with hipster bag. No. No, they're still called fanny packs too, but but there are hip bags out there now too. So they're more stylish. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop now. I'm just a middle-aged dad now. Oops. 
a middle-aged dad that gets excited over selling crap out of his shed on eBay. And now the Webkin 6774 is our SKU. I'll have to see if that's going first class or priority. And it's going neither. It's going international first class. <laughs> Where's and that one actually, going? honey, Canada. And I was oh. just, I was just gonna say, I feel like we ship a lot of Webkins to Canada. Really? Yeah. It's it's something. There's no tape on that one. It's something that um, I seem to. I don't know. Seems like it anyway. Like a lot of our Webkins go to Canada. Does Canada not have Webkins and they like them? I don't know. So just to chat with you guys while I'm packing, um, I'm still trying to win a storage unit auction. I've been watching storage unit auctions within a hundred mile radius of us. The problem is I've been very picky on the storage unit auctions that I bid on. Well, that's not a problem. It is if you're trying to make money. But at the same time, we haven't really obviously seen a I've, unit I've been that... so I've been purposely avoiding storage units with mattresses, large furniture. I don't feel like dealing with that. Neither does my back. The other problem is too, there hasn't been a lot of storage units to even bid on. Um, there was one that I was kind of interested in, and it got above what I was comfortable with bidding on. Maybe I need to be more aggressive. I really don't want to and lose money. I'd rather just lose out on the auctions. So that's. That's just another uh, avenue we're looking at taking with our reselling business to help it grow a little bit. And this was the golf club cover, 9416. Oh, and then we got that record, remember, don't forget, because I had to heat up the uh, hot glue gun that I didn't plug in. I turned it on, but did not plug it in. So we're gonna plug it in now. Right away, I want you to open the door so I can come out without being scared because I'm going in to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. So wait, what am I doing? Right now I want you to have the door open, but when I go in, close it, and when I announce, okay, I want you to open it so I'm not scared when I come back out. Oh, okay. Make sure you wash your hands. Okay. Love you. Love you too, I'm so. so the golf head, golf head, golf club head cover is gonna go first class as well. Um, I'm just gonna stuff it in here. I think it's gonna get a lot more abuse on the golf course, jumping around in the back of a golf cart than it'll ever receive in this bubble mailer. Don't forget, we still got that bat too. I almost forgot about the bat. Oh yes, the bat. Uh, do you wanna grab the bat, honey? All right. And I'll get that going while our hot glue gun finally heats up. So I got these boxes um, from Uline quite a while ago from when they uh, added that surcharge onto USPS so I would have boxes to ship long things in. I don't recommend them. They suck. They were cheap. Um, naturally, I didn't want to spend a lot on a box, you know, overhead and that. And well, we don't ship a ton of stuff. We don't use this box a lot. I mean, it's great for a bat like this because, I mean, you're not going to hurt that bat in this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, in reality, you could probably throw a label on that bat and send it, but I don't think anybody wants to peel a label off their bat. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't ship like anything super valuable in this thing. It's, it sucks. Well, you've you've reinforced it before too for golf clubs. And yeah, well, that's what sucks is you gotta yeah. spend an extra twenty minutes reinforcing this thing. like the way they ran the what's it called core core corgulate corgulated cardboard it's cor corgulated something yeah. like that you know yeah. the, way, the way they ran it it's like the box can literally just fold right in half that's kind of how amazon boxes are i've noticed so we get amazon boxes if we try and save them usually they're kind of it's like when you go to open the box it yeah ah uh. I should have um, shortened this. It. Yeah. yeah. Still shorten it up here. It's because I'm talking to our awesome viewers. Bear with 
my uh, gimbal maneuvering here. And Isn't that gimbal fun, honey? <laughs> I'm trying, trying to. That was a fun Christmas present from you. <laughs> well, look at that, that works. That's perfect. Yes, well. Kind of just turn it around. We're not done yet. Well, it'll be perfect. <sighs> Sometimes too perfect when I send stuff. Our glue is still not warm yet. Trim up the rest of the nonsense on this box that I gotta do yet. I gotta take these flaps off again, because these boxes are horrible. Um, it makes it very difficult to close the flaps because it's overlapped. Like the flaps are, you know what I'm saying? It's higher now. Right, right. You don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it may, oh, you can't I just fold it over. The wrong stuff. I think I messed up. Yeah, this will work. This will work. We can make it work. I mean, in reality, it's a bat, right? And we're not shipping. Fine you know, China. Or yeah, Aunt, here. Aunt Joni's uh, fine China here. <laughs> Take a different approach on this, huh? Look at that, huh? Very nice. Yes, yes. We're such professional eBayers, honey. <laughs> that is... I've yet to see anybody else use hot glue when they ship stuff. So don't necessarily do what we do. Frankie's ready to come back outside. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Bye. I have no idea what I'm doing. Are we gonna throw a little paper in there or nah? Um, usually I do, honey. But I got. 10 people watching us do this, so I feel a little under pressure. <laughs> you know, we got quite the audience tonight. <laughs> Very nice. There, how's that? A little peeper. Gotta protect the bat. Yes, we don't want the bat getting batted. Don't want it getting thrown around at all. Never have too much tape. Free roll tape with every purchase I need. Still going. Is that good? I think that's good. Okay. One bat. And then our record. All right. <clears throat> Very nice record boxes. And I gotta get a thank you. We've been moving a lot of records lately. I'm very surprised because we went like three weeks without selling one record. I was gonna say we had quite a quite a bit of time there where we didn't dry sell spell, any. yeah. <laughs> After Christmas there. So sold, sold some Christmas records earlier in the winter and we slowed down after that. So then we're just going to go enter in the weights and measurements of all these items that I just packed. Get the labels on them. 
And then Janelle goes onto her phone and puts down how many packages and the total weight on USPS website for a uh, at home pickup. And then our mailman, Dan. No. Well, I guess he's one of them. Gary. Gary. Well, not Dan. Gary. Dan's the other guy, yeah, though, I know. right? I meant to say Gary. Dan, Dan you're cool, too. But uh, <laughs> Gary's our regular mailman. Dan's the weekend guy. Yeah. Gary um, knows to always look, pretty much always, even if we don't put it on the website, he's very good about uh, checking to see if we have any packages going out. And uh, he grabs them right off our stoop from us. And scans each and every one of them for us. And uh, very awesome mailman. We're very thankful for our postal carriers. So that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us for the day and following us through our daily lives of a reseller. Yep. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun. Hope we didn't bore you too much with the shipping. We know we had some comments and a couple of videos about people enjoying our shipping videos. So I threw the shipping at the end of this video, which hopefully it doesn't come out too long. Um, if yeah. it does, oh well, hang out for as long as you want. And if you get bored, go watch another video somewhere else. Hopefully one of our videos. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't had your fix though, we got another video here and here for you to check out. And if you did have fun with us, uh, we'd appreciate it if you gave us the thumbs up to help move the channel out into the algorithm and find some more viewers out there. Subscribe if you want yeah, to see more. Yeah, hit that bell too so you uh, know when we drop more videos. Um, they're kind of sporadic. We don't really have a set schedule. We try to get one a week up, but... Right. Don't always, so if you got that bell ring, you'll uh, know when we do get a video up. You won't have to keep checking our channel to see if we have any new videos. Right. So until then, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.